original B-52 Stratofortress first roared into the skies in the early 1950s, the world was a very different place. The Cold War was a smoldering spark that was quickly turning into a global inferno. Dwight D. Eisenhower had just stepped into the Oval Office. The Soviet Union had exploded its first hydrogen bomb. And somewhere in Memphis, a teenage Elvis Presley was still just dreaming of stardom. It was a world divided by ideology and paranoia, with nations building arsenals not just to win wars, but to stop them from ever starting. Now, fast forward nearly a full century, and somehow, unbelievably, this same aircraft is still flying, not retired, not gathering dust in a museum, still flying, and not as a backup or a ceremonial relic. It's being reimagined, re-engineered, and reborn for the 21st century. The U.S. Air Force has officially pulled back the curtain on the B-52 Stratofortress II, a massively upgraded version of the original icon that's expected to serve into the 2050s, maybe even beyond. That's not just impressive, that's historic. A military aircraft designed with slide rules and drafted on paper, outliving presidents, outlasting dozens of other fighter and bomber programs, and still earning a front row seat in America's modern air power strategy. It sounds impossible. And that's exactly what's happening with the B-52. This isn't just about nostalgia or budget efficiency. This is about battlefield dominance, about taking a legendary platform and turning it into a hundred-year weapon. The kind of thing that makes future enemies look up at the sky and ask, how the hell is that thing still up there? So how does a bomber built, when black and white TVs were cutting edge, suddenly become the centerpiece of modern air power again? It starts with reinvention. The US Air Force is retrofitting 76 B-52s with new Rolls-Royce F-130 engines, replacing the tired, smoky TF-33s that have powered the aircraft since the Kennedy era. These new engines will double fuel efficiency, reduce maintenance needs, and give the aircraft longer legs, more reach with fewer pit stops. But this is more than just an engine swap. The cockpit is getting a digital facelift too. Think full glass displays, upgraded radar systems, state-of-the-art communication gear, and a modular weapons interface that allows the aircraft to carry everything from precision-guided bombs to hypersonic missiles. Yes, you heard that right, hypersonic missiles. This grandpa of a plane is now packing next-gen firepower that flies at Mach 5 and above. It's no longer just a bomber, it's a flying war platform. And let's talk about those wings for a second. They're not just being reinforced, they're being reimagined. Engineers are using advanced composite materials to reduce weight, extend durability, and improve overall flight dynamics. The Air Force says these new wings will last longer than the originals, meaning the new B-52s will still be in business long after most of us are in retirement homes. Now, here's something wild. Despite being built during the analog era, the B-52's original design was so ahead of its time that it's still one of the most stable flight platforms in aviation history. That's one reason why it's getting updated instead of retired. It can fly at subsonic speeds for over 8,800 miles without refueling, carry 70,000 pounds of weapons, and stay airborne for 12 hours or more. In a world obsessed with shiny new tech, the B-52 is the vintage vinyl of bombers. It just sounds better with age. But why keep it flying when we've got 5th gen stealth bombers like the B-21 Raider coming online? Because sometimes, quantity is a quality all its own. The B-52 is cheap to operate compared to newer jets. It doesn't need special hangars. It can launch standoff weapons without entering enemy airspace. And when war planners need to move a whole lot of destructive power fast, there's still nothing quite like seeing a dozen stratofortresses lift off in a row. It's psychological warfare on wings. Now let's add a geopolitical twist. As China expands its air force and Russia flexes its nuclear muscles, the Pentagon is leaning into what it calls the triad strategy. Land-based ICBMs, submarine-launched missiles, and long-range bombers. The B-52 is the only leg of that triad that can be recalled after launch. That flexibility makes it priceless in a world full of gray zone conflicts and cyber warfare. Fun fact, in 1964, a B-52 was struck by lightning and kept flying. In 1991, B-52s flew 14,000 mile round trips from the US to Iraq during Operation Desert Storm without refueling mid-air. And get this, 
In one training mission, a single B-52 dropped 32,000 pounds of bombs in under 90 seconds. That's not just power, that's orchestration. Some even joke that the B-52 has outlasted eight U.S. presidents. Seen the Berlin Wall fall, watched the rise of smartphones, and still manages to intimidate modern enemies. It's not just a plane, it's a legend with a zip code in the sky. But the coolest part? Many of the new B-52 pilots flying today weren't even born when these aircraft first rolled out of the hangar. Some of their grandparents flew the earlier versions. It's become an airborne family heirloom. Only instead of silver spoons, it drops precision payloads at 30,000 feet. And yes, there are critics. Some say keeping the B-52 alive is clinging to the past that it's an old workhorse in a world of stallions. But others argue it's smart strategy. Why throw away a perfectly good frame when you can upgrade it into a flying Swiss Army knife? The Air Force is essentially saying, let the stealth bomber sneak in, but when it's time to make noise, bring in the B-52. Here's the final twist. These newly upgraded Stratofortress II bombers aren't just expected to survive into the 2050S. They're expected to dominate, not limp along, not fade quietly into history. Dominate. In a world where stealth, speed, and cyber capabilities define warfare, this Cold War era juggernaut has been reimagined into something terrifyingly relevant. It's not a relic, it's a resurrection. With global airspace becoming a battlefield of its own, where satellites spy, drones patrol, and hypersonic weapons fly, the B-52-2 doesn't just fly through the chaos, it owns it. It brings a psychological weight few aircraft can match. Enemies don't just see a bomber, they see decades of precision, resilience, and shock value rumbling across the sky. And what's even more poetic, while newer aircraft are still being tested and refined, the B-52 already knows war. It served in Vietnam, the Gulf War, Afghanistan, and countless other operations. It's dropped bombs, launched cruise missiles, and stared down the threats of nuclear war. Now, upgraded with new engines, sensors, weapon systems, and a brain wired for the digital battlefield, it's essentially a century-old warrior with a brand new sword. So the next time someone says they don't make them like they used to, you can smile and say, you're right. Sometimes, they make them better. Because the B-52 isn't just surviving the test of time, it's rewriting what time-tested means. And as the world arms itself for the battles of the future, America's oldest bomber might just be its sharpest blade.